Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV. We are at SHOT Show 2022 at the Brownells booth, talking to Caleb about a couple of uh, new caliber options for the BRN 180. Why don't you tell us about them? Yeah, so by popular demand, uh, this was probably the most demanded caliber ever since we came out with the first one in 223, even before 300 Blackout, uh, was 762 by 39. So, uh, finally at the end of the development phase here, so we're gonna be rolling these out soon. If you're not familiar with the BRN 180, uh, it's a upper receiver that is meant to mount on the standard AR-15 lower, uh, but mimics the original AR-180 design somewhat. Uh, of course, the original AR-180 didn't have M-lock rails or anything like that, so it's a more modernized version. But everything's completely enclosed in the upper receiver, so you don't have to have a receiver extension with a buffer and spring and things like that, um, which obviously means you can fire it from a folded stock position. Uh, and our BRN-180 lowers offered in two different uh, versions. This one here is the more modern design, uh, but we also have one with a cut mag wheel that kind of mimics the original design as well, just to give that aesthetic. Um, and 1913 rail on the back, so you can fit any six stocks. Uh, we also have a retro stock coming out for it. And then uh, like Midwest Industries extruded folding stock looks really cool on there. Um, and of course you can do any braces that mount to that platform also. And the piston system itself is a short stroke piston. And the 762 by 39 version uh, it basically mimics everything the 300 Blackout one does as far as barrel profile and things like that. We have it in the short and the longer model. And um, basically the only big difference there is with the gas system, changing things around there obviously to run flawlessly with the 762 by 39 as well as modifying the feed ramps in the upper receiver. So most AR-15s you know you have aluminum going into a steel feed ramp. On the BRN 180 upper, it's an all steel feed ramp, so you can mitigate some of those failure defeats there when running the 762 by 39 caliber. So these compatible with the standard AR pattern mags that are you know extra tapered for or extra curved for the X39. Exactly, that's what it takes. And uh, what about muzzle threading for suppressor attachment? By base by 24. And uh, any word on pricing for these two models and availability? Not as of yet. They're still in their kind of late development phase, but uh, they'll be competitively priced with the other BRN 180 offerings. Awesome. Well, thank you, Caleb, for showing us the new rifles. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more stuff from TFB TV at SHOT Show 2022.